wasn't a freeway Rick, Ro Rick Ross movement. He didn't put so no billboards say. up. Is well, that what well we had a movement. We had a movement, but it, it wasn't seen. Yeah, he wasn't putting no billboards see, mine up. mine was more underground. I mean, okay. why you think a rapper that that's... 3,500 miles away called itself Rick Ross. You know? <laughs> a freeway out of Philly. That's right. You know, a freeway why is it out of freeway? Philly. Why was it Freeway Rich out of Kansas City? You know? That's real. Freeway Boys out of Cincinnati. So it was a movement, but it was underground. It wasn't heard. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I, I want to really, I, I got to ask you this question, man, because listen, man. I asked you this before, and 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 this is the thing, man. Big Meech had a hell of a run. OG Pyru come on here, and he's been going back and forth, and that's been going crazy on my channel about you. It's written that he made over $900 million in his run. This is what white America say, that he made over $900 million. With Rick, it was just him. It didn't seem like he was creating a movement for the people. It wasn't no movement. BMF wasn't no movement for the people. It was a bunch of drug addicts being being in, went from one state to another, not putting nothing against them. They was a gang, a, a dope gang. What benefit did he, he didn't buy no projects. He In his whole term, they made $270 million. He been over here, man, Freeway made free, Freeway made way more money than him. That they, they had who was the other guy? Frank Matthews. Uh, he's bringing up everybody. I don't know none of these folks, and I had to go research and everything. He like, but Freeway Freeway was doing way more money than way bigger than what uh, a BMF was doing. Because Frank Matthews is the guy that never got yeah, arrested, he, right? Yeah, he, he was disappeared. In, I think he was in New York. Yeah, somewhere. he disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He supposed to have been the guy that was behind. Uh, uh, what's the name? Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he made a lot of money. He made a lot of money and walked away after walked court. Walked away. But, but the thing is, he he he, he said, well, I got to come back. He flew all the way back down here so he could come back and readjust what he had said, but still said Freeway was the man. Freeway? Freeway was a boss. Mm -hmm. California, we don't have ties. We don't make ties. So Freeway kept his enterprise up with chaos and confusion keeping different hoods against each other, but supplying them with the drugs, but he never had a vision. You don't have any dudes right now that's pushing freeway. Mm -hmm. That's the independent, that boss there, he worked this and he's working it himself. With BMF, you're still having dudes call them the BMF crowd. That man flew, didn't he? He flew out. I said, you coming back no, to recant your statement? It, but we said it Because he know they different. family, you know. So he's right, like, right. I'm coming back because I didn't say, I shouldn't have called it. They said they was on crack. I said, you shouldn't have let me say that. I said, well, I didn't tell you to say it. <laughs> he said, I didn't mean it that way. I just mean they, they wasn't doing it. They didn't have it organized. So he like, came and cleaned it up. He come yeah. cleaned it up. But he flew all the way back down. He just left last weekend. Mm. Well, so, well, you know, you know, um, and people didn't ask me about that a lot, a few yeah, times. Yeah. And, and you know, I I usually don't you say that. He always shy away. You know, I I, I just be like, <laughs> ah, you know, let me think about it. And and I thought about it. Okay. You know, and and the first thing that came to my mind is, did any of them have their own task force? Yeah. That was also crooked. <laughs> Damn, I don't think so. See, see. So BMF didn't have a task force as big as they were? No, they, they talked about some red something. Yeah, them red. But it wasn't. Yeah, that yeah, that was for everybody that was selling drugs. If, if, okay. if I would on, I can only imagine how big I would have gotten had these cops not been crooked. Mm. Yeah. If they would have went and called me the way that people get caught selling drugs... My run probably would have not been eight years. It probably would have never. Ne I probably would have never went to jail. Yeah, yeah. But by them being crooked, planting drugs on me, took me off of my game. Yeah. See, I didn't take myself because they didn't. They didn't really know how to catch me. Because I only had drugs fifteen minutes a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like 15, 20 minutes a day that you had a window of, of catching me selling drugs. So had they not did what they did, you know, catch somebody else with the drugs and take the drugs and put them on me, how long I would have ran? Yeah, even when they even had to face no time. You understand what I'm saying? No, that's real. Uh, uh, 
So when, when people say that, I say, well, who knows who was the biggest, but I know how big I would have gotten had it not been for the freeway task force. That freeway task force. Yeah, they was vicious. Vicious. I mean, they said they always got their man. And then I found out why they always got their <laughs> man. Because they'll do whatever it takes to get well, their man. All they had to do was see you. You know, they was just waiting to see me. I, I was so good that they couldn't even see me. They couldn't even see you. You walk right by but them. But the first they time they know. saw me, they planted drugs on me. First time they ever saw me. First time they saw me. God, dog, man, you're game. right, man. That that makes a hell of a lot of difference. It makes a big difference when man. you're playing against the referees. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat the referees, man. Every time, every time you hold your hand up, oh, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Three. But what he did say as well was that um, because we were talking about just like how you said it's perspective. It's um different levels of su success. Like, what do you call success compared to what you call success, and you did a huge, um, you made a lot of money. You did, you went crazy. But he would say that they had a vision that they were moving like the masses, as in not with drugs, but like creating a movement with the people. You had a lot of people. You were like a one-man show. Yeah, you had people working, you know, for you and stuff like that, but it wasn't a freeway Rick, Ro Rick Ross movement. He didn't put so no billboards say. up. Is well, that what you're well saying? we had a movement. We had a movement, but it, it wasn't seen. Yeah, he wasn't putting see, no billboards up. See, mine up. was more underground. I mean, okay. why you think a rapper that that's... 3,500 miles away called itself Rick Ross. You know? <laughs> a freeway out of Philly. That's right. You know, why freeway is it freeway? Why was it freeway rich out of Kansas City? You know? That's real. Freeway boys out of Cincinnati. So it was a movement, but it was underground. It wasn't heard. Theirs was more glamorized. And they come in during the hip-hop time. That's you know? right. That's hip -hop right. Hip-hop was booming. Uh, so it was easier to, 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 to be flashy. It. You know, to 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 stand out. That was the thing that was that was that was the end thing right then. Right. right? See, when I was coming up, you couldn't have a hundred thousand dollars. You you know, like how you get a hundred thousand dollars? You know, mm -hmm. yeah. You know how you drive? Like my guys, when they start buying buying those cars and stuff, they hit those cars for me because they know you wasn't trying. Because I show. wouldn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna have. What you doing? You telling everybody we sell dope? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. The loudest person in the room is the weakest person in the room. So, so, and and you know, y'all, you gonna start some of the guys that 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 I introduced to the game is 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 they out now? You know, they had life sentences and they starting to do their books and they gonna be doing podcasts. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, yeah. little Tommy. Matter of fact, little Tommy, I just signed off for his uh his TV series the other day. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, little Tommy uh was a hell of a dude. Yeah. You know, for to be 18, 16. He started like 16 years old. He had Rolls Royces and Ferraris and... Damn. I mean, you know, but that's the lifestyle that, 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 that some of them chose. You know, me, I chose more so to not be seen. I thought that if I blended into the community, I would get a longer run. Yeah, well, you did. You got longer than what you would have if you wasn't blending. That's for damn sure. And 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 it's still paying off right now. I mean, if if I hadn't done what I did in the drug business, I wouldn't be able to do the stuff that I'm doing right, right now, now. That that I get to do, you know, I wouldn't get the love that I get. And um, for for me, I'm just you know, I'm living a dream right now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.